Hello, all you AI enthusiasts out there. I wanted to talk today a little bit about Open Router. Open Router is a platform that lets you connect to tons of different AI models using a single API key. It works kind of similar to something like ChatGPT or Claude that you might be used to, uh, but it lets you basically have uh, an account where you can access all those models through a single interface. So I just wanted to take you through what that looks like. We're gonna connect it to N8N in, in just a minute after I talk about what it is and just show you that their web own website because uh, you can actually use the models directly on their website too. So the way it works is like you sign up for an account and you I added like $5 of credit and you know I've used one, <laughs> one 10 cents, I guess, not even 10 cents, four, four cents. Um, of it and I don't use it all the time because the one thing that you'll keep in mind is like if I go to add more credits you can see it it's like a little bit pricier than just if you're paying directly to an API uh, but the benefit is that you can access all the different API keys so I can just like go and make a single API key and just call this demo and I'll just copy this key and just really quick, I'll just throw this in N8N. So let me just make an AI agent and we'll just use a chat. And then for our AI model, you know, you might be used to normally choosing from all these different models here. Um, but, you know, it gets kind of annoying to juggle all your API keys and figure out, oh, is this one used here or like which client is this for, et cetera. So you can just throw it into OpenAI. Uh, open router rather sorry and then let me just uh let me just turn myself off here so you can actually see it um the open router here you can just select as your model and we'll select that and i'll just go up here and make a quick credential and i'll and make sure you name these things right like personal or whatever however you want to name that so i'm just going to type in the api key save that we get our green it's already successful um, so then I can then choose from any of these models, right? So I have all the open AI models. I have all the, uh, like some new NVIDIA llama models. There's, uh, you know, you can search for ones you want, like Claude, like here's all the Claude models up through 3.7. Um, I can search for all the Gemini models, right? And it works right out of the box like that. So I can just select one of these and start chatting with it and say like, what model are you? And hopefully this returns back. I'm a large language model trained by Google. Great, so that's Gemini. And let's uh, then just select like, uh, what, what do we want, uh, Claude? We'll use like Claude 3.7. What model and model number are you? And yeah, he knows that it's Claude. My specific version is three Opus. Okay, well, that's not correct, but um, interesting that, that it thinks that. Uh, anyway, so that just lets you, know, lets you know that you can connect to AI nodes with a single API key. Again, it's a little bit pricier, right? Like it, you're paying a little bit more for credits. So if I was like to top up my credits and buy $50 worth of credits, I'm spending an extra $3. Uh, but the other beauty of this is that, let me just go back to the open router homepage here. And there's tons of free models, right? So you can come and search all the models. And I find this really useful for testing stuff and as well as comparing models. So I can search for all the different free ones and you can see these ones are free. All the meta ones are free and then it's also organized by uh like time period so this is like the most recent models at the top um but if we just scroll down i mean basically yeah you just you sign up you buy credits you get your api key and you can start building right away and the other beauty of this is you can come up here to the to the chat window and you can start uh, chatting with these models right away too so um, i can say up here i can add model and let's just add let's just search for all the free models and see what we can get in here. So let's just choose like one of Meta's new models. And I can say, you know, what model are you? And it knows that it's Llama, a model designed by Meta. So the other cool things, you know, this is like your the chat interface that you're used to, right? You have a, a list of your different chats here. You can make a new chat room. But what's really cool is that you can come up here to the add model, you can add another model to it. And so I can add like, 
I don't know, something from OpenAI. Uh, uh, let's just get like, I don't know, 4.1 mini, right? So one of the, one of the newer models as well. And I can say, um, what model are you? And it's going to actually give me a response to both models, right? So I can say I, this one is still letting me know it's uh, OpenAI's model and the, it's based on, you know, chat GPT, chat uh, GPT-4 architecture. And this one's letting me know that it's a, a llama model. So you can actually add multiple models up here, which if you're getting trying to get a specific response from your AI, it can be really useful. If you're plugging in a bunch of content uh, from a website and it's like a bunch of HTML, maybe you're, you want to try different models out to see how that interacts with it versus like PHP. Um, so that can be really useful. And, and the, again, the, these free models are not like racking up any credit usage. Um, these are just totally free to use. So and you can come up here and just like turn them off. You can also um, like enable web search for that AI model, which is pretty cool. Uh, all all kinds of cool stuff in these in these little <laughs> hidden hidden features here here and there. Uh, but I really like that you can do different models. You can also just like turn them off if you just want to get uh, just that one, or you can obviously delete them as well, so you don't have to have them permanently. And these reset. I think uh, maybe they don't reset when you're do a new chat. So you just have to make sure you uh, are keeping control of that. Don't go too crazy on the really expensive models or you'll, you'll burn through your credits. And just on that note, let me go to my like uh, activity for my account. And I can see here all the different models I've used, right. And how much it's costing me. I can keep track of that. And I can see like who the provider is and lots of cool stuff um, because there's like different providers, even for the same models. Um, but yeah, so it's basically telling me like, here's how many tokens I used. Here's the cost. It's a free model. So I'm not paying any, it's not taking any kind of credits out of my uh, credit system. Uh, but the open AI one did and the Claude one did. Right. So very low cost. It was a very small conversation, but just to be aware of, of that. Uh, but yeah, that's basically open router. I just wanted to show what that looks like how that works and why you might want to check it out, especially if you're testing out different LLMs and want to kind of get the best out of it. And actually the, the other use case would be in like, I did a recent video on um, uh, typing mind, which lets you do, um, you know, it basically input an API key into a chat GPT like interface. I can create project folders. Uh, I can open project, and like assign project settings to folders, all that good stuff. Um, we, we talked a little bit about different models that you can use within that, right? So I can come in here and um, I believe I have, I go to maybe settings and API keys. By default, it only has OpenAI, Anthropic, and Google Gemini. I have my keys in there already. Uh, but if you want to use something like Open Router or something like DeepSeek or another provider where you have a direct access, you can do that. And the way to do that is to go back to your models here. And, uh, you know, we have our list of models here on the side, but we can also go up to add custom model, right? So we can add manually if you know the actual routes uh, or, you know, if it uses the OpenAI SDK like uh DeepSeek does, but you can also just do import from open router, right? So I can go back to, yeah, I can just type it in. I think that's the only thing I've copied and pasted. Let's hope, uh, check API key and great. So now it's, it's pinged our API key and it says, okay, you have access to all these models. So I can add all these free ones if I want. And I can see a little bit about how much the, the models cost. I think it looks like it's uh, yeah, I think it's doing it in release date. So the, the newest and therefore more expensive models are at the top. Um, but you can, and there's not like a nice filter thing here. It looks like, but, um, but yeah, you can come down and, and search for like, there's four O, um, but you probably want to get ones that you don't have direct API access to, right? Like, uh, here's Mistral. There's a free Mistral you could add like that. So I can like import three models. And then in my models, I should be able to search for Mistral. Right, great. So it's done. Again, single API key that lets you just uh, access all these models. And, it's, and, it, and the best part, I think, that it makes it worth it is that you can access free models directly this way too. And again, you're not having to manage 
tons of different API keys if you don't want. And, you know, again, you might just find this useful just for testing stuff out. I, I, I highly recommend seeing the different output you get from models. I like that you can add two different, three different, four different models in there, throw some uh, information at it, and it'll give you different responses in different models. So anyway, that is Open Router. Check it out. Um, if I have any kind of like, uh, I don't know, coupon code or something, I'll throw it in the description of this video. Uh, if not, hey, look, you made it this far. We're just over 10 minutes in. Thanks for joining. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. And we'll see you in the next one. Appreciate you stopping in.